yeah, it's it's unacceptable at this point, really. Um, I'm the rep for the WGPA, so I've been in contact with with the WGPA, um, and I've been talking to a few gang in the Camogie Association as well about this. It's unacceptable at this point, really, that these five girls um, have the possibility of three fixture clashes ahead. Um, one of them being our Galway game. Um, the second one being a quarter final. If if we end up qualifying as Cork Camogie for a quarter final, well then um, the Cork Ladies footballers are down to play Cavan on that day as well. And then if both teams are successful in overcoming um, a quarter, or um, well then both semis are actually set for the same date as well on that Saturday um, at the, in the end of um, November, I think. So. It's so unfair on the girls to even ask them to decide between who they're going to play for. Are they going to play for the Cork footballers? Are they going to play for Cork Kamoki? This shouldn't be a thing. Um, it's 2020 and like everybody's always tweeting and um, commenting about, you know, the hashtag 2020 can't see it, can't be it. But like that campaign is all about like affecting change and like a cultural shift. And it's time that this is actually like nailed on the head. This can't continue for another year. Um, this has been happening since dual players back, like when Mary O'Connor used to be playing, like we're not talking that this is a new thing over the past two years. We're talking 10, 12 years of continuous clashes throughout the years. And it's really disappointing again for the girls this year that they have to that they have to face this, I suppose, and that this could be a possibility down the line. And I know from talking to the five girls that are involved during the week before I got to go to the WGPA about it, like, if nothing is resolved, the only fair thing that they they feel that they can do is to sit out of both. Um, so then both teams are losing out at the same time. Um, when one team could be playing on the Saturday, one could be playing on the Sunday. Now, I do know between Paddy Murray and um, Cahill Murray from Galway, the Galway manager, I think they've come to some sort of a, an agreement that um, Galway Camogie are happy to play on the Sunday, so that would avoid that clash that weekend. But there's still two huge vital games um, that have a possibility of clashing. So... I don't know, Valerie, is it a thing that like Cork Camogie and Cork Ladies um, Gaelic Football Association are going to have to just step back and say, well, as a whole team, we're not going to play um, and just take a stand on it. But it will be like it shouldn't have to lead to that then either, you know. So um, I'm hoping some sort of a resolution will come before even the end of next week because things like this can't be leading into games and the girls like it's so unfair on them all they want to do is play the sport and it's literally just down to a little bit of communication I feel um at the top level just talking to each other and just trying to switch days be it a Saturday or a Sunday like I am totally aware that there is a short timeline there at the moment but like it is time that like the association started talking to each other and come to some sort of an agreement that the camogie will be on a Saturday, football will be on a Sunday, or vice versa. Um, for the girls' sake, they only want to be playing the sport, so it's only fair on them. Yeah, no, you're dead right, and I think you feel passionate about it, and rightly so, because changes do need to be made. But, I mean, Laura, if the only thing that makes the change is, I hate maybe using the word strike, but maybe, you know, that's probably what you'd have to do if we came to it. And that is possibly um, something that we will have to discuss. Um, I know, uh, like, um, on behalf of, of the Cork Senior Komogi team, that is probably something that we wouldn't have a problem in doing um, if it is the case that that is the only way that something is going to change. Um, it would be very disappointing, obviously, if it had to lead to that. But if that's the way that we're going to have to go about these kind of things for a change to actually occur, well, then... We'll, we'll just have to go with it and um, an all-out strike would just would be on the cards then if that is the case.